Today, I'm back with another mega physical media unboxing and review for you all. Today, I'm going to be showing you all the brand new 4K exclusive still book from Best Buy of Thor, Love, and Thunder. I'm going to go ahead and open this one up to show you all what the disc looks like on the inside. Also, give you the list of special features on the Blu-ray. Plus, go over my thoughts on the 4K audio and visual presentation with this movie. Give a quick little review of the movie and ultimately my recommendation on if this one is worth the price. So let's get right into it. We're going to start with looking at at the front cover here so let's take a look at this one so we got Thor in a cool action pose with Stormbreaker you got the lightning and the clouds in the background I like the color scheme it does go with the movie and then of course you got kind of that box outline background here with the silver I think this is an all right front cover I don't think it's anything outstanding I don't think it's terrible it works fine enough for the movie now let's take a look at the spine you of course get the classic MCU spine font right there and it looks so tiny I don't like that I wish it was enlarged but it does keep in line with the other Marvel movies now on the back we got the same kind of of style here just with mighty thor and milnor in a cool action pose but you got the same lightning in the background with the cloud same color scheme same silver background of course so it just feels kind of repetitive having uh, the same style again yeah i know we got a different character in a different pose this time but i mean it's just way too similar overall for me and uh, i wish they would have just put both of them together on the front cover have Thor and Mighty Thor together on the front cover in a cool action pose. I think that would have worked a lot better. And then do a completely different scene for the back. I just, I don't like it being so repetitive. But let's take a look at the inside. Let's see how these discs look. So just take a quick glance at the disc here. Let me take out these discs so we can see them a little bit better. So let's first take a look at the 4K disc. So the 4K disc, we got much more popping colorful uh, this right there uh, we got the screaming goats why are the screaming goats highlighted so much on this disc i was not a big fan of the screaming goats uh, but i do like the popping colors that go along with the disc here at least it's something unique and different but ah those uh screaming goats just overstayed their welcome to me in the movie all right next let's get to the blu-ray disc now with the blu-ray disc we have the same kind of color theme as the front and back covers. You just got Stormbreaker on there again with the lightning. Wow, so repetitive. Wish they would have done something completely different. At least the 4K is different, even though it has the screaming goats. Just Blu-ray, uh, just too much of the same for me. A little disappointed by that. Now let's take a look at the inside here. And on the inside, wow, we get very similar again very repetitive on one side you do get thor king valkyrie and one of the screaming goats and then on the other side you do get mighty thor korg and another screaming goat wow but same color scheme again just uh, very similar to the front the back the blu-ray disc wish they would have done something a little bit different with one of those sides it's just ugh, just too much of the same for me and then of course we got the j card right here and you do get more popping colors on the back of the j card which is nice kind of similar to the 4k color scheme uh, but yeah, so we get the special features here with the Blu-ray. We get three featurettes. One featurette focuses on Natalie Portman and the Mighty Thor character. Another featurette focuses on Christian Bell and Gore the Cod Butcher character. And then another featurette focuses just on Taika Waititi's direction. Now, I thought it was really weird that they did not include a featurette on Thor. Like, how do you not have a featurette specifically to the title character? And that was just really weird i would have wanted a featurette with just chris hemsworth focusing on the thor character now he does pop up in some of the other featurettes and does speak a little bit but once again they're just so short you don't get too much i think that's weird to really not give too much to the title character 
unfortunately. And yeah, these are just very bare bone featurettes. They're very quick, very short. I mean, it's to be expected with Marvel. So even though they're kind of cool featurettes, I did enjoy them seeing all the different perspectives and just everybody speak within those featurettes. I wanted more to them, but just very uh, skimpy with uh, Marvel's treatment of special features here. You know, normally what they've been doing, just uh, not the best. And then of course you get a gag reel, you get some deleted scenes, you get a commentary in there. But once again, just not not a whole ton wish uh, the special features were a little bit more uh, substantial here now in terms of the 4k visual and audio presentation uh, with the movie I think overall for a movie like this it was done well enough the Dolby Atmos track is pretty good in here it does sound great with the soundtrack I did like the music overall in this movie not as good as Thor Ragnarok but still pretty solid and then the 4k did look really nice in terms of just sharpness and HDR uh, coloring where you could really tell the difference was on all the unique costumes that Thor wears in the movie, especially his uh, main Thor costume with the red cape, the blue and gold armor, that really stood out very sharp and clean. The colors really did pop, especially with the red capes in here. I mean, especially also with uh, Natalie Portman's character, uh, Jane Foster's uh, Mighty Thor, that cape really popped too. So the red color definitely came through really nicely and along with all the blues and the golds and the silver so definitely you could tell in the costume all the 4k sharpness and great coloring now in terms of the review for the movie I've done so many videos on this movie already, but just to give a quick little one again in case you missed those, I was pretty disappointed with this movie overall. I was really hyped to go check out this movie because I love Thor Ragnarok so much. I thought that movie was so good, and this movie was just a big disappointment. It just got way too silly, just jokes every five seconds, and not only that, they would repeat the same jokes over and over again, like with the screaming goats. I mean, it just became too much it became too much of a satire spoof comedy kind of uh, it seemed like it was almost making fun of the Thor character uh, instead of it being natural to a Thor's progression so it just was really weird to me I like Thor Ragnarok because I thought it balanced the drama and comedy and action so well together here the comedy definitely takes the forefront and I just think it's way too much I wanted a little bit more dramatic serious moments and this movie had the potential to have that there's so many great scene opportunities where they could have gone with something really impactful but instead they would just do a cheap joke and it would kind of ruin the scene for me so it's not one of my favorite marvel movies it's definitely probably bottom low tier for me it's definitely not as good as thor one it's miles away from thor ragnarok i would say maybe it's slightly better than thor 2 but i mean i would just say by a little bit still pretty low tier mcu for me on Fortunately, and like I said, this movie had the potential to be great, but uh, just a misstep in the direction and uh, writing for me, unfortunately. Now, in terms of if this one is worth the price, well, if you love the movie, I would say this still book is pretty average. Now, if you don't like the movie, definitely you can skip over the physical media copy. I know I'm probably not gonna watch this one too often unless I do like a Marvel marathon, then of course I will have to go through it again. But you know, these still books do get pricey, about that $30, uh, $35 range. Yeah, $35 uh, for a movie like this I mean most people are probably going to be able to skip on this one uh, just because a whole lot of people I don't think love this movie out there and I've talked to a few people that do like it because of the comedy but most people just think yeah uh, just just not a solid movie there same like me I just uh, I, I didn't love it I wanted to love this movie because I want to love every MCU superhero title but I just didn't so yeah, to me, really wasn't worth the price, pretty expensive. If I wasn't already collecting all the Marvel Steelbooks, then I probably would have skipped on this one. Now, if you haven't seen this movie yet and you're thinking about blind buying it, I would definitely try to preview it on Disney Plus first or rent it. I mean, because it's a way different direction. So even if you love Thor Ragnarok, I'm telling you, you might be really disappointed in this one. So it may not be the 
best investment for a physical media purchase on this one if you only get the one watch out of it. So I would say preview it first if you haven't seen it. Then if you really like it, of course, uh, get the physical media copy. But yeah, in terms of the steelbook, not a great steelbook. Uh, doesn't have tons of special features. Just art design isn't there for me. And then overall, the sad thing, the movie just isn't that great. So pretty disappointing uh, with this uh, purchase here, unfortunately. But let me know in the comments below, what'd you think of Thor Love and Thunder? Did you like the movie or like me, were you very disappointed in it? Also, are you picking up the physical media copy and what format are you just getting the slip cover? Did you get your steel book in? Let's have those fun movie discussions down below. And if you're visiting the channel for the very first time and you love collecting physical media and being part of this awesome league of mega film fans, make sure you subscribe right now. That way you stay entertained and up to date on all the latest physical media topics. Jane? And if you enjoy this physical media topic video, click another video to see more. Also like the video. And this is Mega Mike the Movie Man reminding you to make every day a movie day.